Justin Trudeau is doing what he always does. He is lying. He is lying to distract from Mr. a Liberal uh, caucus revolt. Mr. Singh, it is uh, Mr. Helen. <clears throat> Thank you, Chair. Uh, once again, we see this costly cover-up coalition in full force. Jagmeet Singh, in this fake uh, theatrical performance that he probably learned from Justin Trudeau, pretended to rip up his so-called agreement. And then once he used the people of Winnipeg, he taped it right back up. And once again, we're seeing the Liberals and the NDP, and obviously the leader of the Green Party, try to cover up, divide, and distract Canadians from this flailing Prime Minister. That this is such a serious issue of foreign interference happening, where the RCMP has alleged that members of the South Asian community have been targeted by a, a foreign government, in this case India, for allegations of, of murder, of extortion, of violent threats. And what do the Liberals and the NDP do? With the help of the Green Party, they, they want to distract away from that, that there's a Liberal revolt happening within Justin Trudeau's caucus. They want to distract Canadians away from the pain and misery Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh have caused them with the high cost of living by doubling their housing and making sure that there's more food bank usage than ever before in this country. And on top of all of that, letting Canada become a safe haven for and, and a playground for foreign, and foreign interference. I'd like to just give one clear message to Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh from our common sense conservative leader, Pierre Polyev, in, in a letter he just recently wrote. Release the names of all MPs that have collaborated with foreign interference. We can put this whole thing to bed. Canadians want to know. Canadians want to know who are those MPs working in the best interest of foreign governments and not in the best interest of Canadians. It shouldn't be that hard to do. CSIS, the CSIS Act allows, and the CSIS Act allows the government to offer information to any Canadian about specific risks of foreign interference without forcing them into sworn secrecy or controlling what they say. Receiving a secret briefing would, according to Justin Trudeau's chief of staff, prevent the recipient from using the information in any manner. And even where that is not the case, briefing political parties on sensitive intelligence regarding an MP could put the leader or representation of a political party in a tough position because any decision affecting the MP might have to be made without giving them due process. So in clear words, Justin Trudeau and the NDP are trying to muzzle not just the leader of the Conservative Party, but, but all Canadians. Justin Trudeau doesn't need to wait for an inquiry. According to the CSIS Act, he can walk over to Pierre Polyev and give him the names. He doesn't need to continue to muzzle. He muzzled the NDP leader so in, in, uh, because he, of greed for his $2.2 million pension. And he's also obviously muzzled the Green Party leader. And uh, this is why Canadians are so fed up and want an election now. Common sense conservatives are the only party, the only party inside the House of Commons and outside the House of Commons that are calling to release the names now. Can you imagine that there's people sitting in the House of Commons today that are not working in the best interest of Canadians? This can, can include anyone. Can you believe that a, a, a sitting member of the House of Commons could have major implications on trade deals, doing what's in the best interest of foreign governments and not in the best interest of Canadians? Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm sorry, Ms. Uh, Khalid, on a point of order? Yes, uh, thank you. I do take a lot of exception to the member calling the integrity of the members of parliament in our parliament into question with uh, with what he's saying i i take i take major exception to that uh, thank you. that would be standard order 18 and uh, i would advise the members to uh, be cognizant of that thank you yeah look mr speaker we we see once again the liberals will do anything to distract away 
Point of order again, Mr. Chair. I don't appreciate uh, if, if the member has points to raise on his motion, as is absolutely his right. Please do so. Please don't try to call into question the integrity of the members that are in this chamber. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Uh, was that Ms. Lansman? Yep. Go ahead. Just want to remind the member that it's the Prime Minister himself at the uh, at the inquiry that called into question the integrity of members of Parliament uh, by 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 naming uh, parties and affiliations uh, without actually putting the names down, and that's exactly what we're arguing here today. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Halen. You were Th thank you to the great Melissa Lansman from Thornhill, our our, our co-deputy leader, for that clarification. Um, I also didn't know hurt feelings could be point of orders because that's what it seems like the Liberals. Point of doing order that. again, Mr. Chair. Don't. Ms. Kalita, please point don't. Of order, please. It, it's not nice. Make your arguments as as the right of every parliamentarian and committees. Let's not call people names. Let's not go down this path. Let's let's be respectful, please, of everybody. Uh, thank you for your point of order, and uh, point is well taken. Please, everybody, uh, try to be polite to each other. I'll, I'll continue, uh, Mr. Speaker. Hopefully I'm not interrupted because of hurt feelings. But furthermore to our leader's letter to Justin Trudeau, furthermore, my chief of staff has received classified briefings from the government. And at no time has the government told me or my chief of staff of any current or former conservative parliamentarian or candidate knowingly participating in foreign interference. This is in stark contrast of what the Prime Minister has alleged and what we've heard Ms. May flip-flop on from when she said she took the briefing to now and to what the NDP is claiming. Our leader goes on to say, if Justin Trudeau has evidence to the contrary, he should share it with the public. Now that he has blurted it out in general terms at a, at a commission of inquiry, he should release the facts. But he won't, because he is making it up. Justin Trudeau is doing what he always does. He is lying. He is lying to distract from Mr. a Liberal uh, caucus revolt. Mr. Singh, it is in, inappropriate parliamentary language to, to refer to a member as lying. Uh, I just want to get some clarification. I'm reading a, a letter that was sent not to acceptable. the Prime Minister. Okay. It's not acceptable. Oh, I, uh, thank you. I'll, I'll retract the lying. But I, I will say what our leader is saying in general is that Justin Trudeau is misleading. It's what he always does. He's distracting from a Liberal caucus revolt against his leadership and revelations. He knowingly allowed Beijing to inter interfere and help him win two elections. It is beyond rich for Justin Trudeau to grandstand given that the record now shows that he and his government with all the benefits of government agencies were repeatedly warned about foreign interference including within the Liberal Party, and he refused to act. If Justin Trudeau and his government, who repeatedly claim that they just weren't aware of foreign interference happening right under their noses, despite a paper trail of warnings from officials. It is Justin Trudeau's government, which mysteriously sat on a CSIS surveillance warrant application for a Liberal power broker for 54 days. It is Justin Trudeau's party that willingly allowed the PRC consulate to bus in PRC international high school students to vote in the now infamous Handong national nomination race. It is also Justin Trudeau who has ignored our leaders' calls to release the names of parliamentarians referenced in this spring's NCCOP report who have wittingly worked for the benefit of foreign governments against the interest of Canadians. This is nothing but a cover-up. Once again, Justin Trudeau, with the help of the NDP, are just trying to distract away from the pain and misery and the foreign interference they have allowed in this country after nine years. This is nothing but politics for these people. This has nothing to do with the safety and security of Canadians, the democracy that we should be upholding, or the sovereignty of Canada is not being held upheld by these by, by these parties. It is only the Conservative Party that is asking for, for full transparency and to release the names. That's what this is all about. 
Well, we're calling the bluff of, of this costly coalition, this cover-up coalition now. Just release the names. Release the names of those MPs that are not working in the best interest of Canadians. It is that simple. There is, should be no excuse now. There should be no reason for anyone to doubt that any parliamentarian that is duly elected to, to the House of Commons is not working in the best interest of Canadians. I also want to mention that it's this Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, who admitted at the public inquiry that there are liberal names and names from every party. Conservatives are not scared of names being released. We're saying release the names now. It's only this cover-up coalition of the Liberals and the NDP who are afraid. What we want to know is what do they have to hide? What do they have to hide? They're scared to go to an election because they're scared of Canadians, but they're letting, willfully letting foreign interference, which includes threats, violence, extortions, and, and even alleged murder happening in this country to Canadians, all just so that they can cover up for their incompetency. This is nine years of Justin Trudeau with the help of Jagmeet Singh. I'll make it clear one more time. Common sense conservatives are asking for the names to be released immediately so that Canadians can feel safe once again in, on Canadian soil. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, thank you.